Hi everybody, Kelly here, and I'm, I w just want to share with you a project that I completed. This is using the My Mind's Eye Nostalgia Collection. Um, everything in all the paper is from the Nostalgia Collection, with the exception of the white cardstock that is the Recollections cardstock. I just find it easier to, to um, cover the chipboard with. And I also used it for my hinges in the album to um, just connect the pages together. Um, my cover is fairly simple. Um, it's just a piece of the paper collection. Um, I stamped the Remember uh, Remember This stamp from, oh my goodness, um, I think it is My Mind's Eye. Uh, I just forget which collection it is, but I'll I'll put links of everything, uh, not links of everything, but I'll put the list of everything on my blog and list the put my blog link down below. I know that these are Studio G st alphabet stamps, and that's what I use to stamp those on. Uh, these are uh, Fisker's butterfly punch that I use to punch out the butterflies. I glossy accented the butterflies to help make them hold their shape, because they are they look like they're flying off the page. A couple of flat back pearls. And this is a Recollections white flower, and I just um, distressed it, and I sprayed a little bit of, of homemade glimmer mist on it just to kind of give a little color, a little uh, distressed look. My stickers, these are just uh, stickers that I place. I, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, my goodness, I can't think of, any, of anything. I, I, stick, I stuck these down on some cardstock. There we go. And then I just cut out, I trimmed around the edge, and uh, popped it up on some foam tape just to give it a little dimension. And then when you open up the mini album, and each page is created using the 6x6 six six paper pad of My Mind's Eye Nostalgia. Um, when you open it up, I have a journaling spot on the left side. There we go, a little bit easier for you to see, a little straighter. And on the right side is the 6x6 six six page and I just folded it up to create two pockets so there's a, a small pocket here and then another pocket behind that which will hold another tag and then when you flip it over the back of it is another, another spot where you can put a picture or uh, excuse me you can use this for journaling or a flip and then the flips open so you can add more pictures or other journaling, add extra dates or whatever it is that you want to put in there. And each page is the same, so I'll just I'm not going to take out every tag, but um, I will show you the pages. So that's that side. It's getting caught on my on my thing here. So that's this page. Again, it flips open. Show the inside pages. And then the next page. And it flips open. There we go. And then the tags. That page flips open for a journaling spot or pictures. Next page. And show inside pages. And there you have it. And there's the back page. And I use some more of that journaling paper to put on the back. But it's really simple. It's really quick. Um, just something simple just to kind of keep dates uh, in mind so that I have something to go to and grab just to kind of look and see what I need to create a, a card for or an, um, something that's coming up that I need to remember. So there you have it, guys. I just want to share that really quick with you. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Um, otherwise, I thank you all for spending some time with me, and you all have a great day. Talk to you soon. Later. Bye.